everyone, welcome to Wow Events by Ice Lighting. So it is day two of Azeroth Secrets. So this is the tricked out thinking cap, which is a toy reward for doing this one. So we're making our way into the inn in Valdraken and you'll see that Bobby is the person we need to speak to today. If you speak to him, he will give you a list of things mm, you need to get to create a thinking cap. Now this is um, a relatively simple list as in it actually tells you what you need and where to get it from so there's no real thinking about it so the first person you need to speak to is oh, the cook in the inn and uh, do the dialogue and she will give you a list of things that she then needs in order sharing. to give her part um, but don't worry this is the only one that requires you really having to chase anything again the list is really self-explanatory it tells you where and the person so um, I'll give you a uh, Easy guide, you can either buy these from the auction house or head straight to these people. So the first one's the cheesemonger. You're gonna need five pieces of the Apex cheese, so grab that. Um, the second one, you wanna go to Nara Plains and you wanna head to the um, outpost here. And this is the butcher and he will give you the meat that you required. And then the third one, you just need to go to Loam and you want to um, head on to the outside of Loam, so this bit over here, and you will find a mushroomy vendor type person and he will give you the mushrooms that you need. So once you have those, you just need to head back to the cook and give them to Cook using the dialogue, and then she will give you the first piece that you need of this. Um, or, sorry, the first thing you need in order to get the first piece of the uh, thinking cap. So at this point, um, jump over to here. There is a um, lake at the top of this waterfall which has fish you need. Um, you might as well do this now because the person you hand it into is next to the person you give the um, food you just made. So um, it's like two birds, one stone, quite like literally a bird you're handing this to. So grab the fish, um, there was only one other person there, obviously it's 100% drop, so don't worry too much about it. Go over to the engineering area, it is the griffin that wants the fish that you just caught, so hand that to them by doing the speaky speak, and it drops straight into your bag, so that is our first piece, and you can see we still have our nest, which you then give to the engineer right here, so give them the nest that they required and they will give you the second item so now we have our first two we just need our third one and our third one is the one that's going to cost you so if you make your way over here outside the um jewel crafting area and speak to this guy this guy will only give it to you if you either pay his bill or give him a thousand gold now uh, the bill is only 300 and 46 um so it's worth going and paying the bill unless you have loads of money and don't care so to pay the bill you've got to go back into the inn go to the secret statue bow in front of the secret statue run all the way over to the bartender and pay him so once you've paid him you just simply have to go back to the guy again and tell him you have paid him and that he now has to pay up front from now on mm, and he will give you the final piece that we need to start making the cap so you'll see out of the three pieces only one is a click to use so click on the one that says use and you will create an mm, unfinished uh, thinking cap so what we need to do with the unfinished thinking cap is take it over to the quest that has now appeared on your map so there's no actual thinking about this one funnily enough um just head straight over here and hand it in so once you hand it in it's quite simply um a case of doing nothing else but being handed it so that's the first part of the um collecting the items now don't stop there obviously it's a toy and it allows you to see things that you couldn't see before so guess what there is a second part so don't miss out on this second part so pop your thinking cap on now your thinking cap shows you in the top coordinates of where you are actually standing and you're now going to go on a little scavenger hunt so if you speak to the guy that just gave you the thinking cap there is a quest that you can't see which is really annoying because that confused me um accept the quest and this is the one that we wondered about those mm, arrows that appeared over Valdrak and we can now see them. Now I don't know whether you have to click on every one of these in order to get the treasure at the end. You could just skip to the waterfall, 
I'm not sure, maybe someone could tell me what they did. But for the sake of this video, obviously I visited every single one of them and I've given you the waypoints and the order. Um, obviously now they're named, so we know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, but this is where they are, so this is the one on top of the auction house. And it's funny, most of us had um, the correct order in which these were supposed to be done. And, um, this guy like stands on it, it's very annoying. So if you can click on it without clicking on him, that's the sixth one. Seventh one is at the seat of the aspects or downstairs in the corridor area and then the final one is at the waterfall where now there is treasure So um, again, I, I have no idea whether you had to click on the arrows or you could just come and get the treasure So uh, someone let me know let everyone know in the comments. That'd be great So once you've done that just go and hand it in and that is quite literally the mm, end of day two So we now have the thinking cap part um, of the whodunit done. So we're three down on day two so Let's look up for day three. So thanks everyone for watching. Hope you found this video useful and subscribe to see what else I'm up to.